let's distort the first image. And for this, I'm just at this image and uh, lower the opacity of this image. Okay, like this. And in here, I'm just choose the face one, liquify, and also this effector. Okay, so maybe a little bit higher brush size. It's okay. And also, let's change the shape of this uh, first image to the second image, like this, okay? Let's select that and push it in here, like this, to match the uh, head of the skin shape. At the first, it's uh, look very varied, but <laughs> we will fix it later on. And you see the morph effect by changing the values and other stuff. It's a kind of techniques that you can use. So also, let's go in here and select this. Push it back. I'm just trying to fit the first face to the second, like this. Okay, I have worked on it and uh, I just changed the first image shape to the second image like this and put all of your effort in this um, step because it's very important if you don't fit the first phase to the second phase it will be not so interesting at all okay in this lesson we will create that kind of distortion that we will create on this first phase okay let's uh, select the phase one and off the liquify effect also push this back and lower the opacity and let's do the same process that we have done but for this image reverse that it means that change the second image shape uh, face shape to the first one okay let's do that by clicking in here and also selecting warp tools options and brush size brush size and now let's tweak that Okay, I have worked on it and create the shape of the second phase to the first phase. And in the next lesson, we will create a kind of roofing and transition between these two phases.